we've agreed, and we have a technical team here in Gibraltar at the moment, talking to Gibelec and talking to the Gibraltar Port Authority about what might be required to ensure that uh, the risks and benefits of LNG power and LNG bunkering and all the associated infrastructure can be properly scoped out. So that then a proper bit of work can be agreed, you know, whether that's with us or with other parties, to help ensure that those risks can be quantified, uh, to get to a point where uh, the government, where you know, all stakeholders, the people of Gibraltar, are comfortable with any decisions that might be need to be made. Okay, so from what you're saying, uh, it seems to me that what you're doing is very much, if you like, setting the parameters for a subsequent safety report that Lloyds may or may not do yourselves. Yeah, that's right. At what point will you know the, what the safety parameters are? How long will it take? I, I was trying to get the Chief Minister to give me an answer yeah. on this and he didn't want to pressurise Lloyds into any sort of time frame. But can you give us an indication? Well, I don't want to preempt what our technical guys, you know, our, our team might be, might be uh, uh, able to say or, or when, but certainly we're acting with great urgency. And the Chief Minister emphasised uh, the importance of moving fast and I think uh, our initial discussions as well with the technical team uh, from Gibraltar that we had in London previous to that meeting with the Chief Minister also emphasised the need to move quite quickly. So I can't say when, mm -hmm. but it's going to be as soon as practically possible. Is it likely to be before the end of the summer? I think in terms of scoping we'd certainly hope to be, you know, knowing what needs to be done by September. By September. And yeah. the safety report thereafter, even though... I mean, don't take that as gospel, but, you know, that, I think that would be the intention. Sure. And, and uh, as from that point onwards, even though Lloyds may or may not do that report itself, yeah. from your own experience in this area, how, how long would a, a comprehensive safety report take to produce? I, I mean, that's really hard to say, and, and I really don't want to, um, you know, say anything that my technical teams, you know, might agree with. Um, but I think I'd like to emphasise that, you know, we, we can try and work as fast as is required. And presumably you'd like to get the, the contract for doing the safety report itself? Yeah, well, certainly our, our job at, at, at Lloyd's Register is to help ensure safety. Uh, so if we can, you know, help ensure the safety of, of any projects going on in Gibraltar, uh, we'd love to be involved. OK, as you say, safety is, is the yeah. prime concern for everybody, yeah. including Floyd's and very much so mm. for the people here in Gibraltar. The, the point that is being made by the opposition mainly, of course, is, is that nothing is 100% safe, that no matter what you do, what anybody does, there's always going to be an element of risk. Yeah, you know, our, our job is to help people understand those risks so they can make decisions. Uh, you know, life is risky, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, anybody making a decision has to look at the benefits and then uh, assess the risk properly. Around the world, there's growing interest in LNG. You know, as we were discussing before we started, you know, we're not for gas, we're not against gas. We're not for any form of energy or against any form of energy. We're here to help people understand the risk involved so mm -hmm. that, you know, commercial decisions and ultimately every decision has a commercial element. Uh, so that commercial decisions can be made based on the best technical insight. Okay. And, and, and that's what we hope to bring. All right, but, but as I say, that's um, for many people, especially mm. the people that are living in the area where it's proposed that this facility is built, are very concerned because they say that even though you might reduce the risk... In fact, I wanted to pick you up on this because it's something you say mm. in your statements uh, is that, uh, if I can just quote it actually, that m modifications to the technical requirements and a repositioning of the storage tanks could see major risks entirely reduced. Now, the use of the word reduced there seems a little bit odd. I mean, surely you either eliminate it or you don't. What do you mean by entirely reducing a risk? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not the risk expert, and, you know, our, our, our guys would be able to talk about how you quantify risk and, mm -hmm. you know, what acceptable levels are exactly. But I think you're referring to comments that were made, you know, around the Ferrari that emerged on the very narrow technical report mm -hmm. that we produced uh, for a private client, which was based on some specific yeah. proposals. Um, I think what we were making there is a general comment that, you know, changes um, to any proposal could help reduce risk. And, you know, that's either through changing a technical specification or changing, you know, in this case, that you're referring to the possible change of location. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there is, there is no, you know, absolute way to eliminate risk, I don't think, unless you don't do something. You know, and, and I, I, I think the challenge anywhere around the world where there's growing interest in gas, and, and so far I think, you know, certainly in the marine sector, uh, where we're most active, but in general, you know, the safety record of gas has been pretty enviable. And, and 
of course, you know, throughout Europe and other parts of the world, gas is being used in people's homes every day. Yes, obviously your experience yeah. in this field is vast. So the world is used to gas. The world is used to gas. You know, Gibraltar, and, and, perhaps and not so much. Well, I, I understand there used to be gas distribution, distribution ago, in Gibraltar right. many years ago. Um, certainly in a domestic context, mm -hmm. I think, you know, societies and regulators are used to working with gas. Okay, and um, you also mentioned now the, the possibility of, of looking at other uh, locations. Is this something that in this scoping uh, agreements or arrangement you're going to yeah. be looking at? I, I, again, I, you know, I'm not in those discussions. Um, I'm not sure what's on the table uh, exactly and, and what the alternatives are. Clearly the geography is very constrained mm -hmm. here uh, and I understand the options are fairly limited. And um, to what extent, you know, there could be different locations is something that will have to emerge in this scoping discussion to see if that's on the table. Is there anywhere else that you're aware of in the world that has an LNG facility such as the one that's being proposed here in Gibraltar so close to uh, a heavily populated area? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, you know, you I'm not aware or I'm not as, unaware. You're speaking well, for Lloyd's Register, you must have an idea of yeah, this. Yeah, well, 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 certainly I, I'm perfectly prepared to go back and talk to our technical experts and, you know, provide you with, with uh, examples of the type of projects that, that are mm -hmm. uh, being implemented around the world. Okay, and um, I mean, some people might say that it, you don't require a safety report or a safety expert to, to tell you the the blinding the obvious, which is that if you have an installation that could go wrong, mm. it may not, but if it does, it's very near people that live there. There's a hospital, as your mm. position points out, there are schools, there are more and more people going to live in that area. Do we need a report to tell us that it makes better sense to have it somewhere else? Well, that's what we're going to find out. Do, do you really need to um, go into a, a vast uh, exercise to tell you, as I say, something that's well, obvious think, to most people? You know, I, I, I think the scoping requirement will show what, what's required. Okay, let me, let, me, let me go back a little bit on, on the, the report that mm. was initially uh, published in Gibraltar, published by the opposition, and it was commissioned, I believe, by Spark. Um, the government said after that report was made public by the opposition that it had been heavily redacted. Is that true? Yeah, I, 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 I'm bound by confidentiality, and you know, I, we haven't sat down and, and done a gap analysis on exactly what was put into the public domain. It certainly wasn't put into the public domain by us. But why haven't or, you done that already? Wasn't. You, this is, as you say, it's a matter of great controversy in Gibraltar. Yeah. So why haven't you done that analysis? Well, you know, we we have to abide by the terms of our contract. You know, we are bound mm -hmm. by some fairly standard. They're not they're not onerous, but you know, they are. Um, there are confidentiality clauses mm -hmm. in our contract with the, the company that contracted the report. And, you know, that's where it is. You know, we, we have to act within the law and, uh, you know, we, we respect the law. Sure. And so there is a possibility that it was redacted heavily. I, I, I can't say. And also the other point that has been at issue here in Gibraltar is that the opposition says the government has claimed that that report was based on a single-skinned storage tanks, whereas the opposition says that it wasn't. I'm sure you can answer whether that is the case yeah, or not. I, I, I honestly actually don't know, and uh, you know, I don't want to go into the technical detail, um, and it's probably best if we don't. I mean, certainly our focus now in terms of our role is to look at uh, what is actually on the table in terms of concrete potential proposals and how to scope out an assessment of the risks they may or may not present. If you don't mind my saying so, and I don't say this with any mm. intention of, of, of offending in any way, but mm. for somebody who comes here to speak on behalf of Lloyd's Register, to speak to the government and to speak to the media, there's an awful lot of stuff that you don't seem to know very much about. Well, I think it, we understand risk. And, um, you know, our, our focus now is not on uh, unearthing the corpse of a report, you know, that's already been uh, the cause of much uh, debate. Uh, we want to throw light on the real issues now as they stand, uh, and we certainly don't want to get involved in the party politics of Gibraltar. You know, for us, this is about safety. It's about trying to help provide, uh, uh, you know, be part of providing a solution that the people of Gibraltar want. Okay, you, you don't want to get involved in party politics, but no. I suppose that you haven't done too badly out of it because you have a commission that's been used by the opposition, and now you're, com you're getting one for the government. Done. Well, you know, we'll see. At the moment, you know, we're, we're scoping out a proposal. Um, you know, we're, we're not being paid yet. Mm -hmm. um, How much are you getting paid, by the way? We're not being paid yet, but you know, for this. We haven't, agreed, we haven't agreed any terms yet. Oh, so you know, it's pro bono a, at this stage. This, well, it's not pro bono, but, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're, as with any commercial undertaking, mm -hmm. we're starting to discuss what might be required and what we might do.
Okay, and in terms of the previous report that you did for Spark that the opposition mm. made public, the GSD, the opposition said it was mm. the cost of that was £100,000, was it? Again, I'm not going to disclose the, <laughs> Why not? the cost of the report. Why did you tell us? Well, because that, you know, that's part of the confidentiality. And, and again, you know, I, I'm not sure how it would be taken, and it's probably just best if I don't say anything on that. OK, so very finally, um, just to, to, if you'd like to summarise what we've said here this evening, um, you're going to be putting together, Lloyd is putting together a report, a scoping report, which you have, hope to have ready by September, and thereafter there may be, uh, well, there will be a safety report, but it may not be Lloyd's that carries it out. Yeah, I, I think that's all possible. Um, you know, I, I don't want to be held to a date, but certainly uh, our undertaking is to act as fast as possible.